what you guys got another quick video here for you on how to diagnose and troubleshoot audio file issues and maybe codecs or something like that so if you're trying to play your audio files and they're not working or you've got issues with your codecs and you want to remove a bad codec or stuff like that I'm going to share to do that in this video Now this is just one way again about it but we're going to be using a couple of free tools uh, to do this for us so first one we're going to look at is codec tweak tool it's a free tool to download I will put all the links in the uh, description of the video so I'm going to run this as administrator and once we've got this open you can see we've got some options open to us here general settings configuration uh, codec and filter management and also miscellaneous so we're going to go into the fixes first and there you can see we've got some options open to us here called detect and remove broken VFW and ACM codecs we've also got the detect and remove broken direct show filters these are the common ones to uh, remove these from the system if they're broken we can also re-register the uh, base show filters which is another a good place to start and also we can clear the windows icon cache there's also a fixed broken sound tab here which is greyed out for some reason but you just put the ticks in there and apply and close okay so let's look at the generator log here this is going to generate a log for all the codecs that are on our system so we can make a, a complete log of all these files on our system that we need to use so we're going to generate this now and there you can see we've got a full list of all the codecs that are on the system which is very very useful and it also gives us the path uh, to these files you can save that if you wish now we've also got under the settings here we've got a reset now this will allow you to reset these uh, back to defaults and you can see uh, FF show and also AC free filter these are common uh, codecs that we use in our audio so you can use this to be uh, fixing these and putting them back to defaults we can also make backup of our uh, codecs here I'm not going to go through this but you just need to pick a location and click OK and it will create a backup of those codecs for you you can also restore them back so if you're going to make changes and stuff to your uh, system and your codex you can always make a backup that's what I'd advise you to do before you start messing around with it in case something goes wrong you can always make a restore point as well on the system and then you can restore them back if something goes terribly wrong with it let's have a look at the configuration tab here we've got direct show filters again you can see these are all listed here you can just go inside here and this will allow you to configure them and fix them and as you can see we've got um, DivX or and, and other types of uh, ones here raw so if we click on this it will open this up and it will be allowed to go in here and make some changes now this is quite complex but as you can see uh, it gives you full control of what you need to do uh, with all your codecs on the system okay so I wouldn't advise you coming in here and start messing around with stuff if you don't know what you're doing so let's have a look at the speakers tab here this will give you the speaker options you can actually configure your speakers and we've also we've got preferred uh, splitters and we've also got ACM uh, VFW 64-bit and 32-bit versions here so if you went into here again you can actually enable and disable these uh, types of codecs inside here okay so thumbnails again these are the actual thumbnails if you've got messed up thumbnails um, you can actually put them back by putting the ticks in here set them back to Windows defaults another good way if they have been completely changed uh, by accident by yourself opened it in another format and it's now messed up you can actually put them back you've got some options here open to you as well and uh, various tweaks here we've got another various uh, tweaks tab here and this will actually go through boosting your voice and uh, dialogue volume so that's pretty much uh, all those there on this uh, little program very very useful uh, to make fixes to your uh, codex and stuff like that so let's exit out here we've got a help folder here as well which is very useful to help you understand what's going on 
uh, with this program it will help you get through some issues that you may have and it gives breaks it much more down than what I'm doing in this video so let's exit out of that and we us have a look at a uh, codex sniper here a codex sniper is another good tool so I'm going to run this as administrator pretty more um, basic looking but what this does really is allows you to look at the status very quickly and also you can see when they are broken and as you can see here we have some broken uh, codecs here down the side if you come down you will see some broken codecs and this will give you the option to remove them from the system it will give you the file name path to that and you can actually just um, click on this highlight it like so and then click delete you can also save the list of all your files if you wish and this will give you the same sort of log file okay now be very careful when you're using this type of tool because you don't want to go deleting files um, and making this making the system unstable so you want to be very careful when removing these types of things you can try to reinstall first um, the codex and stuff like that and try removing them completely from the system with a revo uninstaller and things like that and this will aid to remove all these codecs from the system as well before you try to go through this method of uh, removing them okay it's a pretty straightforward pretty simple way of diagnosing your audio files with free tools that you can get off the internet and I will put those links in the description for you and that pretty much uh, covers that part now a good tool to actually play your um, videos with is VLC player now VLC player is this program here it will play pretty much anything you throw at it and it'll have all the codecs packed inside here and this is a really safe program to use now be one word of caution here be very careful when downloading codec packs off the internet these can be rammed with um, viruses root kits and all sorts of stuff and you could end up um, being infected by using codec packs if you don't get the right ones now I'm not saying all codec packs are bad but there's a lot of them on the internet which are laced with uh, infections so be very careful when using those VLC player pretty much will play anything you need and you pretty much wouldn't need any sort of uh, codec after that okay so I think that's about it for this video my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoy these videos if you do please remember guys hit that subscribe button also rate and favorite me videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now